Welcome to the last video inside this course. Remember, at the start of this course, I told you that towards the end, I'll give you a small glimpse of what Midjourney's competitors can do. And remember, we had seen three different competitors, DALI, Stable Diffusion, and Adobe Firefly. Now, what we're gonna do here is, I'm not really gonna be showing you how I've come to these pages because that's pretty easy to do. Remember, we are not on a course for these particular apps, so I'll give that as a small little homework for you. You just have to go to Google, type in the names, and again, just like how things work, you'll have to create an account. But the best part about these apps are that you usually don't have to do the whole Discord thing. You sign up and you'll get uh, some credits for free uh, straight away and you can start using them. For example, DALI will give you around 15 credits okay, uh, per month, I think, and this keeps on changing. Then we have Stable Diffusion, which will literally be, you just go to Google and type in Stable Diffusion and It'll give you this website, stablediffusionweb.com, and you can start writing your prompts here as I'm gonna be showing you. To be frank, this is not the correct way to use Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion actually is used by setting up a lot of things on your computer. It involves some hardware and all these things, okay? Uh, you can go to YouTube and type in how to set up Stable Diffusion if you wanna actually do it the correct way. But this will give you, even the online version of Stable Diffusion will give you kind of a glimpse about for the results that you can get, okay? Finally, we have Adobe Firefly. You can go to Google, type in Adobe Firefly, and you're gonna get here where you can type in your prompt. Right now, what I wanna focus on quickly is just to show you the difference between Midjourney and these apps, because we're gonna be using that same prompt that we used for the Firefly image that we generated. All right, so in all the three places, I have exactly put that prompt that we'd used in mid-journey and this is ready we're going to hit generate this is for dolly same thing here this is for stable diffusion and this can by the way take a lot of time finally we have firefly adobe and we're also going to put it here now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the results and then let's see and compare it with what we got with mid-journey in fact, the first results are straight away here, and you can see this is the result that DALI gives us. Can you even, even compare this with what we got in Midjourney? Absolutely no way. So first of all, DALI is, yes, you get some free credits, but it's way off as of now. But do remember, DALI is backed by Microsoft. So DALI is run by a company called OpenAI, the same company that runs ChatGPT, and they are heavily backed by Microsoft. And a lot of noises that, yes, it's going to pick up pace really really soon we'll see about that stable diffusion like i said it'll take some time so we'll wait for this we'll probably see this at the end then we have adobe firefly this right now is probably the closest that we can get to mid journeys level but even then yeah you can see it's not good but the uh, good thing about this is you do get a lot of options okay this is a brand new app by the way and remember this is by the people who created photoshop so this is definitely gonna get better so what we can do here is first of all we can change some things here these are basically the elements okay but they are put out way more nicely i feel than in mid journey because it's kind of in button format so i can for example instead of art i can say make it photorealistic just like how we typed in there we can even change the aspect ratio but let's say i just want to change probably this and um can even change the color and tone so we're gonna say dramatic lighting and we're gonna now hit generate so let's see what this gives us and still you can see the results are nowhere close to what we got with mid journey let's also see if stable diffusion is ready all right so this is what stable diffusion has given us and yeah this is also not bad this is pretty dramatic but again it didn't really follow whatever we had written now remember when we generated this particular image inside Midjourney, I told you there was a special reason why I was generating this image. And the reason for that is that this image represents exactly what Midjourney will be facing very, very soon. So that girl who's holding that sword, okay, she's small, right? That represents Midjourney in this. That's because Midjourney is a company just run by 11 people who are actually doing so amazing. But now they have some big threats coming. And that's why I created that Firefly monster because Adobe Firefly is going to be a huge threat to them. But even behind that Firefly, there are even bigger monsters because remember I told you DALI is backed by Microsoft and Microsoft is even bigger than Adobe. There's an even bigger monster coming in 2024 by Google, which is called Google Imagine. 
Now, I like all these companies. All these companies create some fantastic products. And if you've done any of my other courses, you would know I'm a huge fan of Adobe. So, of course, I'm very excited for Firefly. But just in this particular battle, my full support is for that girl who's standing with the sword because I always like to support the underdogs. And whether or not these team of 11 people can withstand the pressure and stand their ground, or maybe will they get acquired by some bigger company, we don't know, but I definitely hope that they give these big monsters a good fight. And I think that's a good note to conclude this course upon. Right now, all I can say is that I hope that doing this course was worth your time, but more importantly, that this course had a positive impact on your life. I have over 40 courses. I definitely hope to see you inside one of them again very soon. But for right now, this is Kush Sharma signing off. Goodbye and good luck.